What happens when you give an AI a working memory? The short answer is, it solves puzzles in a surprisingly human-like way. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. This is my Deep Mind series, a new kind of computer devised by researchers by Google DeepMind in the UK, could broaden the abilities of today's best AI systems by giving them an important new feature, a kind of working memory. The researchers show that the computer, which consists of a large neural network connected to a unique form of memory, can perform relatively complex tasks by figuring out for itself what information to hold in its memory. The tasks include figuring out the best way to get from one station to another in London's spaghetti-like underground transit network, after exploring diagrams of other types of networks and learning about the most salient features. The Google DeepMind researchers call their system a differentiable neural computer. It is differentiable in the sense that it is behavior, including what to store in memory, can be learned using the mathematical process called back propagation that underlines the working of neural networks. As the network is trained with data, it is automatically store some information to a memory matrix. Quote, like a conventional computer, it can use its memory to represent and manipulate complex data structures, but like a neural network, it can learn to do so from data. The authors, which include Alex Graves, Greg Wayne, and Demi Hassabis, write a paper published in the journal Nature. The advance is a step towards artificial intelligence that is a little more human-like in its abilities. While the technique is limited for now, systems built this way might someday perform useful work, says Ruslan Salakutinov, an associate professor at CMU who specializes in machine learning and AI. For example, a more advanced version might crawl Wikipedia and figure out what significant concepts like names, places, and dates to store in memory. Or it might all allow a robot to use information learned in one setting in a completely new one. Quote, it's a very exciting piece of work, Salakutinov said. The latest machine learning system are brilliant at certain tasks like recognizing faces and images or spoken words. And with practice, they can learn to perform complex tasks like playing computer games to an expert level. But they require huge quantities of specific data for training and unlike a human, cannot store much of what they have learned in memory for use later. This presents a problem in many areas, including language. Salakutidinov notes, however, that making such a differential neural computer more complex could be difficult. That's because in order to assess its memory, it has to perform a complex calculation querying every stored piece. Quote, it's super difficult to get these things to work, he says. Scaling up can be a bit problematic. Interestingly, the work brings two fields of AI that have long been loggerheads a little too closer together. Early works in artificial intelligence involved 
programming machines to represent information symbolically, which the current vogue is to use very large neural networks that train themselves to perform tasks. For a long time, some AI traditionalists and cognitive scientists have questioned whether neural networks can do what humans do without gaining some deeper ability to represent information symbolically. Quote, I am most impressed by the network's ability to learn algorithms for, from examples, says Brendan Lake, a cognitive scientist in New York University who studies ways of making computer mimic human intelligence. This could expand the usefulness of deep learning. Quote, algorithms such as sorting or finding shortest paths are the bread and butter of classic computer science. They traditionally require a programmer to design and implement. But Lake points out that the system is not quite human-like in its way it works. People can pick up a new task from a limited amount of experience, especially if they are familiar with the domain, he says. In contrast, the differential neural computer is trained on tens or hundreds of thousands of examples of each task. I think the human ability to quickly learn new tasks will be one of the next major AI challenges. I think that this demonstrates that this is the problem with deep learning, that it is not in fact deep learning. In fact, it's not learning at all. It is presenting the AI with data and expecting the AI to derive something new from the data, which is what humans do. This is how humans learn. This is how humans carry on conversations. I want you to close your eyes for a second. and I want you to think of a conversation that you had with someone about a subject that you knew very little about. A lot of you are going to be very easily bring this up. Why? Because most of your conversation is going to be talking about things that you do not know. But unlike computers, humans can come up with brand new ideas and new ways of expressing those ideas, giving very little in information. Why? Because they are experienced in what? having conversations, talking about particular subjects. For instance, women who sit down and do puzzles and buy new puzzles all the time are good at making puzzles. With the introduction of trying to implement learn, uh, memories into the AI as well as data, and what is a memory? It's a visualization of an occurrence, an event that happened in the past. And it's also what transpired in during that event. You went to the park, you saw a swing, you got on the swing, your dad pushed you, you loved the sensation of the swing going back and forth and the gravity pulling you down at the highest peak of either side of the swing. That's the whole point of a swing. You're not going anywhere, you're not coming from anywhere. It's a sensation of gravity pulling you back down to earth and you momentarily escaping it. And also the rush of you escaping gravity ever so slightly and then gravity slamming you down as hard as it can only to lose you again when you swing back the other way. And that's the whole point of the swing. That entire memory lets you know how to use a swing when you get much bigger and you don't require your dad to push you. This is what's being introduced into the AI now, memories, and this is exactly how the AI is now being able to figure out new things. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up the video. That's how YouTube works. If you don't thumbs up the video, the video won't be shown. Period. Thank you.